horsey people, how are we today? Are you looking forward to this video all about a certain awesome new, so many cool words in there, stallion? I'm super excited about this. If you guys didn't see it, go and check out the video recently on our beautiful mare, Aria, because quite frankly, we had an amazing breeding session. It was insane to the membrane, okay? Yeah, I know, I'm cool. So guys, drum roll. This is our new stallion that I'm super excited about. Look at him. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at him. So kind of the same coat patterns. I mean, that is seriously nice. Look how gorgeous he is. I mean, I'm a sucker for a black horse anyway, but crikey, he is gorgeous. So yeah, I just can't go over him. I think he's a pinta loose, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Probably wrong. He's the same coat patterning as orange marmalade, but black which makes it even cooler. We do have some other really cool horses here as well from our breeding session with Aria, but to be honest, I just wanted to focus on black, black man? Batman. I just wanted to focus on Batman today. So we're gonna set him as a stud. And this is his pedigree. So he's got quite a lot of black in there actually. There's, there's probably a good reason why. Yeah, he, he came out the way he did. So yeah, let's go to Falstalls. I'm gonna breed him with some of my OG mares and see what the combinations are. Obviously won't be breeding him with Arya because that's a teeny bit incestuous. So let's go with some of our OG mares, including Spex. I did top up my account, guys. I was a good girl. I went and did loads of racing for you, so you guys don't have to sit through it. Aren't I nice? Oh, let's breed with Cinnamon. We haven't really done much with Cinnamon yet. She's gorgeous, though. I love her. Coming out soon, though, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be breeding a barn full of golden-coloured horses. That's Palominos, Cremellos, anything that's a bit golden-y. <laughs> kind of makes it a bit easier, you know? Because when we did the series of breeding a barn full of black horses, man, it was painful. Yeah? Painful. Cute. Right, i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and race Batman. I <laughs> keep calling him Batman, but... Uh, he's not trained. He hasn't done anything yet. So we could just take him for a little spin and see what happens. I don't even know what level he is. Let's go to the training booth. This is going to cost me money. This is going to cost me a lot of money. So there's quite a few here. I would like to get the whole barn trained up, actually. Um, where is he? There he is. He's gorgeous. I absolutely love him. Even there. I mean, look how cool he looks. It's more, probably one of my... Is he my favourite? One of my favourites though is definitely Mickey. Do you remember the Disney when we were breeding the Disney horses? Oh my gosh, he he's he's pro pro good looking. So yeah, he was nice. But this horse here is unbelievable. Uh, we are gonna do uh, the as I say the uh, breeding a barn full of golden horses. I do want to do the Fifty Shades of Bay, but I don't know if that's gonna really frustrate me in the long run. It possibly will do. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. Oh dear. So I'm kind of glad it's raining today. I know it sounds stupid, but I um, I have time to do content because I decided not to go riding today because I normally try and ride niche nearly every day. I'll get the words out. Nearly every day. Um, but as it's raining and stuff, I know I'm not really a fair weather rider. I am. Um, getting old, can't go out in the rain. Uh, it's good because it means I actually have time to sit, do my content, think about my content a bit more because work at the moment and life is quite busy and I, I did want to focus more on the channel if I could but we'll, we'll get there we'll get there you guys love your rival stars though don't you I did just put out a poll uh, a few days ago or whatever it was asking what games you guys would like to see more of and most of you want rival stars so what are we going to do in rival stars do you guys like just breeding the foals and getting different colours, or would you like to see more of the story mode again? I don't mind. I can't do the story mode again. I think I'll cry. Sorry about this stupid noise, guys. It's very annoying, but we're, we are going to finish completing training this little pony all. The quick buy thing's a nightmare, but we'll, we'll keep training, we'll keep training, we'll keep going. We have a lot of these, like, very good things. We need to keep an eye on money a little bit, but we're going to hopefully top up our, our account in a minute. So we're going to train Batman up, then we'll see some of his falls. But yeah, tell me which games you want to see more of, because I don't want to just do Rival Stars. I mean, I am doing, I mean, it's all horse games, all horse games. There is a new game called Equestrian the Game, which I'm like itching, itching, itching to try. I really want to try it, but it hasn't quite come out yet uh, for us UK people. So I'm hanging in there. Come on. I'll have to look it up and see if I can get it, actually. I don't know if we can get it in the UK yet. 
There's also another game by the looks of it called Horse E X E, um, which which looks good. Looks really good. Uh, is there a level 16? Let's see. Let's go with this one. We can run Batman. Let's watch him in a race, shall we? Batman's probably going to be at the end and not winning. Oh, it's so that he's going to... Uh, let's hire the jockey. Let's... Should we put a bet on? This could be risky. I'm not sure if we're going to make our money with this. We're just going to do the one race. Oh, I just skipped results. I wanted to watch the race. Lady Ranger. But yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. <gasps> that was lucky. I feel like that was lucky. We use this winning shot of him because that's gorgeous. Look at him. I am happy with that. We might get some new colours for our jockey, perhaps. We'll see. So let's just chuck in another one because the whole point in that was I wanted to show you guys what he looked like running. That was the whole point. Silly. You silly Billy. Ah. Oh. Yes. So if you guys have got any ideas for Rival Stars content, let me know. I mean, I've got a plethora, I love using that word, of ideas, including all different colours, that kind of thing. Uh, we need to just, like spin the wheel one. I think that'd be fun. One of you guys commented months ago about doing like spin the wheel with the colours, but I don't know how to do that yet. Any ideas would be muchly appreciated. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Secura Valley. Number four, the one to beat. This is my favourite with the cherry blossom tree. My horse looks better than yours. <laughs> I actually like the, the uh, chestnut coloured on there. Stalls back racing. Oh, oh, there we are. I think the cameras are opposite, so if I look over there, it's like I'm looking over there. Do you know what I mean? Gosh, there's loads of them in the field. Ten points to those who knows the name of my horse that kind of beat level 18 and 91, 19, I believe. Yeah. What's the name of the horse that completed level 19 for me recently, in a video recently? What's the name, name of the horse? I'm getting that out in some form of English. At the 1, meter mark, it's Guys, why are we not at the front? Fly I think he's a, he's a, he's got a very soft track charger. preference. This horse. Number four, getting into a good spot. The race continues. Not sure. It doesn't flight. look very um. In second position. I'm a singer. Charger. Number four in fifth place. Nocturnal sand covering extra ground. Oh, it's so nice. Place leading. Cargo Charger, what's the front? Look at these. Number four, looking good, riding well. Two lengths behind. I love the commentary. News Flakes, once again, in the front spot. Number four. I think Pickpock have done such a good job of this game. Look how beautiful it is. Are we going? I don't think we're going to win. I've put a big bet on this as well. Well, second's not too bad. We, we, we lost quite a bit of money on that, but hey-ho. We can train up to level 21, though, so that's good. That's very good, because that means we can just go up an extra oomph. Oh, I love this horse so much. <laughs> Why do I love him so much? He's so pretty. Let's just train up to level 21, then we'll go, go from there. Level 21! Batman! Da -da 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 I should put some music with it, but then I'd probably get copyright. City YouTube. Right, okay, let's go over to the land of the foals a minute. We still have 13 million gold, so hopefully that'll be enough to uh, tick us over for a bit. I'm hoping as well we'll finish level 20 and then we complete the game again. Because obviously I, I, I didn't even have a YouTube channel when I completed it the first time in... Literally a year ago. Because I think November... Late October is when I started the channel, so I've had the channel a year. I know. Hmm. Right, what am I doing? Let's go to false tools. Let's go discover some false. So, should we discover specs first? Yeah, we'll go in the order that we bred them, because that's why it's going to be cheaper. <laughs> okay, are you ready? The first foal of Batman. Drum roll, please. You ready? Drum roll. It 
it's a foal and it's gorgeous. It's a level 10 filly, which is great. But it's not really unique. You're cute. You're cute, though. You cutie, cutie, cutie. <laughs> Don't patronise me. I swear my horse is just... I'm constantly doing baby... I shouldn't do it, where I'm like, Hey, yo! Like, stupid baby voice at them. They're probably, like, thinking, Why are they patronising me? Let's just hold on to this one a second. Uh, Mammoth Mouth. That's a really bad name. We've only got one more stable, though, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful of what we've got here. If we wait just the four seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Cinnamon. Oh, that's cute. Again, not hugely unique. But still level 10, which is great. I do love all my mares, I must admit. The mares I have on this game are wonderful. They're really unique. I love them. Let's just care for Fall for a minute. Let's see what comes out. See what's out on the other side. Now, if you guys remember the series of Specs and Candy, you'll remember which one won. Hmm. Put in the comments below who won that whole series. I'll leave a link to that series too somewhere. So keep your eyes peeled. You'll be amazed who had the better foals, candy or specs. You'll be amazed. You might also get a hint. Ooh, a little dappled. Ooh, <laughs> that's really cute. It reminds me of chocolate. It reminds me of an aero bar. It's so cute. I love little foals. They're so cute. Okay. Mm. What do I do? Careful foal. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to keep them in there a second. What I want to do, actually, a bit random. I know it's kind of involving uh, blah, 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 Batman, but it isn't, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to use a random stallion with his daughter because... Okay, let's put the two bays that look exactly the same next to each other. Probably won't be a level 10, but it doesn't matter. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. I think, because often, the really unique patterns will come out a generation after. So, let's just use a whole million squid just to find out if my theory is right. My theory was not right. <laughs> oh, no, but that's cute. I kind of want to keep her, actually. She's so cute. So, she's going to be the grandchild of... Batman. So let's skip her to... Hang on. I don't know what to do. Careful for a second. We're going to age up the middle one. This one. Gorgeous little horse. We'll see what this one turns out like. So it's another stallion. We, we'll probably sell our stallions. He's a lovely bay. That ticks off another shade of bay. But I need to have like a chart of all the bays, I think. Because there's so many of them. But how do you say that name? Crocus. Crocodile. I'm going to call you Croco. Croco, Socco. La 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 la. Um. I think, yeah, let's. Um, I really like this one. It's a mare as well. We'll keep the mares. Uh, let's. Oh, I love this one though. I love him. I wish. I wish that I love that. That's really torturous that I think I'm probably going to have to sell that. That's really annoying. i tell you what we could cheekily do just for a minute. How many stables do I have free? Let's have a look. Let's have a looky cookie. So we've got two stables free. Let's quickly just breed him with two of my mares. Uh, who's your mum again? <laughs> who's your mum? Candy. So don't breed him with candy. Let's breed you with someone a bit random. Flossie's a funny looking colour. We will do a video on how to breed that peacock appaloosa colour. It's a bit strange. It's a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah, let's just use a couple of mares, just, just so we can keep him, like, in the line. I don't really want to breed him with one of my... Oh, I love Fairfax. I don't really want to breed him with one of my custom creations because they don't have a family tree. Uh, Fairfax, stunning. Also, Brad, when did I breed her? Actually, ten points if you guys can remember that, because I don't remember that. Ah! <sighs> Okay, so let's visit this one. Let's age this little tiny mare. I'm going to have to sell a horse. I know we're going to have to sell a horse. I don't want to. We're going to sell that stallion, Stubborn Spies. He's gorgeous, but at least we've used him as a stud a couple of times. So he's going to still be in some of our family trees, hopefully. So these next foals are going to be... Uh, they're going to be... 
They're gonna be Batman's great-grandchildren, is that correct? I think that's probably correct. Oh, I'm a sucker for a chestnut. Oh, I love that. We don't. I don't tend to breed many chestnuts, actually, anymore. Why do I need to take a picture of this one? Yeah, I really like a chestnut. I love a chestnut. But not a chestnut mare. You just ask you for trouble. Who has a chestnut mare who is who is fiery? They're just renowned for being fiery, aren't they? That's basically it. What we're going to do, we're going to discover these two foals here. And then I'm going to make a conscious decision who on earth we're keeping. Because it'd be nice if we got something really, really unique today. And this is the great-grandchildren. And if you guys remember the generation uh, challenge sort of series that we had, which was the plane to insane, I'll leave a link to that. You'll remember that it was about the third or fourth generation where something really, really unique came out. So uh, let's just go straight to Flossie. If we wait the 10 seconds, it will be a tiny bit cheaper. Not that we're really worried about that because I have loads of money. And we can top up because we have custom creation horses, which is good. But we might as well make it a little bit cheaper if we can. Okay, let's go for it. You ready? Oh, it's a Rebecano. Okay, just when I thought, I was thinking, oh, no, it's plain. It's a plain Jane, but actually, he's a Rebecano. I love a Rebecano. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we uh, bred a black Rebecano by pure accident? Fairfax is a new one. I've never bred Fairfax before, and I can't remember how I bred Fairfax, but I think it might have something to do with Aria. Well, yes, of course it would. It happened in Aria's video. Mm. How cute. Oh, it's another little dappled like her dad. What do I do now? Okay, I don't know what to do now. I genuinely do not know what to do now. Look how cool my mares are, though. <laughs> They're really cool. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Because if I breed that one, then I'm going to be stuck with them in a way. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to breed this chestnut, you see, because look at her, her lineage. Her lineage is okay, but Batman's kind of there. Mm, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's age this one up. I'm going to have to sell somebody. I know I am. This day was going to come. I can't sell any of you lot because you're all pretty cool. Mount Mammoth Mouth will sell. She's one of our mares. gone off to a lovely new home don't worry guys let's skip this guy to stallion and then we'll sell him even though he's a ribacano i love ribacanos he's kind of a subtle ribacano rather than he would produce cool foals can we quickly use him as a stud and who's his mom again um custard no not custard flossy so don't breed him with Candy or Flossy or Fussy Foghorn. I don't have Custard anymore, do I? I can't remember. Candy, Fussy Foghorn, Flossy. I can't breed him with any of those because that's inbreeding massively. We'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. How many stables do I have free now? Two? Yeah, let's go with that and see what happens. Oh, so he's the grandchild of Batman. <laughs> What's that? I never thought I'd say that. Uh, who are we going to put you with, bud? Uh, not Flossy. Let's go with Abby. Abby's one of our new mares. She's gorgeous. She's so pretty. Uh, and then this one here. So who actually talks to their animals like in baby voice? Is that just me? You can't help it. If you see a dog or something like that, it's like, hey, yo. <laughs> I just want to talk to them in that. Like, I don't know. I was out, in a, at, out at an event on Sunday and these two Norfolk Terrier puppies came past me. They were two little fluff balls on a piece of string. No, the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I have to sell a horse, not now. I can't sell a horse right now. I don't think I've got anything sellable. Let's just... Well, let's sell the stallion we've just used. Because at least, again, we're going to try our theory out of the, the fourth generation thing here. We could always sell artistic animal. Which is the stallion, actually? Spaghetti shame. I love spaghetti. So that's a slight Ribicano on him, but we'll see. Poor guy. He's lovely, but let's skip this one to make this one's gorgeous. And it's got the little dapples. Could do a video on how to breed dapples, actually, couldn't we? That's very subtle dapples. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. So you've got artistic animals and today's magic there. So that's good. Oh, I love bubbles. Have you guys checked out bubbles? Look how cute bubbles is. 
Uh, same colouring? No, different coat patterns. Need to remember that. Abby and Bubbles have the same coat pattern. Fairfax is, of course, Arya's daughter. Duh. And Brett did... Oh, no. It was Specs. Whoops, I didn't even know that. Whoops, that's terrible. I have the memory of a teaspoon. Oh, Custard is still here. I probably will sell Custard, actually. Because I've already got Flossy and stuff now, so... That's quite a tough decision, isn't it? Hmm. We only have five million pounds left. Where did that go? So we've got Abby, Golden Princess, and we have one spare thingy bop here. So actually, we don't have a stud. Do I have another mare of his? I do have this lovely, 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 lovely chestnut. So let's find a new stallion. Ooh, I like you. Let's see if we can get stats at 65 and above on all, all rounds. I'm going to call it rounds. You guys know what I mean. But yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to record or show you, I'll try. I can't guarantee I'm going to be very good at it, but I will try. Let you. Oh, let's just go with this black one. Love a black stallion. Okie dokie. Let's go back to the races a second because I want. Actually, I want a new outfit for Batman. Bubbles is so cute. Fussy Falcon. Cinnamon. All oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? There he is. I think red. What's that one? Luna Luck. Luna Luck's okay. What about a Christmassy one? <laughs> Star Spangled is quite nice. I don't know, actually. We need to go by Saddle Pad because I think that shows it a bit better. Is this Luna Luck? Yeah, no, I don't like the Luna Luck, actually. It's a bit like, pinky. Oh, Hot Rod. Hot Rod would be kind of cool. Um, Crimson Hearts. What's this one? Balmoral. Yeah, we used Balmoral recently. Should we put him in a festive one? <laughs> nah, we won't do that. What about the Rival Stars? It's quite nice. I love the Rising Star one. That's one of my favourites. I think it looks so nice on them as well. Ooh, it's coming up to Halloween. Kind of. We've got a month. <laughs> we could have a Halloween-y one. Okay, I'm going to go with... What, what would you guys want? What colour should we put on Batman? What would you suggest? Put in the comments below. I'd love to know your, your thoughts on that. I mean, I'm a sucker for green. Ooh, what about the golden talisman? I've never used this one yet, actually. There is one called the Hornet or something Hornet. Amber star is quite nice, like yellowy type. Yellow would look quite nice on him, weirdly. You guys know I'm not normally a star of yellow. Uh, Amber star. Amber star, that's a Halloween one. Is that Amber star? No. I just keep saying the word Amber star and hope it, hope it happens. Do, 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 do. Lemon, Balmoro. Where is it? We could go with a festive dream, because who doesn't love that? Crazy. It must be over here somewhere. Wait, hang on. Hold the phone. Right, the star one is about... Oh, okay, it's about middly. Right in the middle where it's hard to find stuff. Okay. That's great. Peach again. Waterford. Hot Rod. Hot Rod is grey. I do like that one. I'm trying to find it, guys. It's so hard. I can't even remember what I'm looking for. I'll just keep clicking them. Huh. Right, give it a start. Rugged leather. Great. Pioneer red. Rugged denim. Front, saffron edge. Hot rod. Peach keen. Luna luck. Iron sand. Calburn. Harlot. Uzzer. I'm just clicking through all of them and hoping I find the thing. Why is this so hard to do? Balmora silk. Roy champagne. Lemon tempo. Star sprangled. Golden hornet. This way it might just go for a golden hornet. Rival star. I feel like we're getting closer. Rising Star. What is the one that we're doing? What is it called again? Amber Star. Gosh. Where is the Amber Star, man? Pineapple Blue, Rising Star, Candy Club, Hallow's Eve, Grand. Well, where is it? Amber Star is what I need. There's normally a matching set, right? Guys, am I going mad? Wow. I'm so confused. Can anybody help me? What am I doing wrong here? Am I being stupid? Right, Hot Rod it is because... Miami Dusk. He's by Miami Dusk. I saw Miami Dusk. Hang on. I'm not giving up. This is going to annoy me. Mythalidian, Rising Star, Pioneer Blue. It's by Hot... 
Spice something. Spice something. Balmoral. I feel like it's around here somewhere. It's by Miami Dusk. Because this one is Miami Dusk. There's Miami Dusk there. So it should be this one. Arcadian Weave. What? Where's the saddle? Have I not got it? Well, that's annoying. Well, I'm not... I don't like to be defeated, but we haven't got all day to faff about with a new outfit. Plus, actually, I think I've gone off the yellow. We could go lemon tempo, but it's not good enough. Let's go golden hornet. That looks cool. Plus, hornets are scary. I'm not going to be able to find the, the uh, golden hornet stuff now. <laughs> There's a golden hornet. Yay. Golden hornet to golden hornet. I'm just going to go based on look. That looks like a golden hornet to me. That looks cool, though. Oh, I think that looks cool. Oh, I just clicked on it. That was lucky. Let's take a picture. Let's get him out on the racetrack with a jockey. Oh, we need a new outfit for the jockey. The galloping one is really cool. I wonder. Let's just change our jockey silks and see if there's like a golden hornety colour-y type thing. We need to go back to settings for that, but... Should we do it? Nah, you're not worried, are you? Nah. Let's just go run a couple of races, get some money back. That'd be wonderful. Now, our horse is level 21 now, at least. So let's go run. There he is. He's definitely going to lose, I'm afraid, with this one. Let's go to a slightly easier race. <laughs> He's going to lose. He's going to lose. Let's just enter this one. El Torino races are normally quite nice. Let's find him. Gosh, Fairfax is a nice looking horse. Where is he? There he is. How many horses do I have? This is crazy. Should we put a bet on to win? There was quite a lot of red on the right there. I think we'll be lucky. Okay. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. Skip to results. Oh, results. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, we did it. I'm quite surprised by that, actually. I feel like I want a proper top up though. So if you don't mind guys, I'm just going to go hard or go home for a second. Let's go on to the big race where I can earn quite a bit of money. Chuck in a big bet. And jobs are good in. Oh, gosh, I can put £210,000 down. If you think about it, that's like what my house is worth. That's a lot of money. It takes me like 25 years to pay it off. <laughs> Great. Cheers to that. Oh dear. Yeah, what would you do with a two hundred and ten pounds? I would buy lots of horses. <laughs> I probably wouldn't actually. I'd invest it and then actually I'd love to give some to the I can't remember the name. Prince something f fluffy. It's a charity in Egypt. It's amazing. We'll have to do a charity fundraiser or something. If we hit 20,000 subs, by the way, we're like miles off that. Miles. Miles off it. But um, if we hit it, then I'll start going live with you guys, which I think will be really, really fun. I have figured out how to go live, so I could go live if I wanted to. I just haven't yet because I haven't had the time. And every time that you guys are like logged on or whatever, I'm actually at work. So I, there's no point really. Unless we just try it one day and see if it, if it works or not. I'm not really bothered how many um, people watch as long as you guys are there, you know. Cool. Uh, let's go to Stubbles. This is good fun. I think we should go and treat ourselves with some foals. So we have Abby here, Golden Princess, and our new one, Artistic Animals, who needs a new name. Let's discover what Abby produces first, though. Could be interesting. I believe this is a grandson or great-grandson of Batman. We'll have to look. I can't remember. Ooh, that's nice. You tell cute. That's cute. Like that is really cute. Let's keep him then. If we're gonna have to skip, we'll have to sell a mare. We we'll have to sell somebody. <laughs> Let's save Golden Princess. I feel like she's gonna be a little treat at the end. Artistic animals. I love this mare. My favourite mare of all time. Ooh, and she's bred a Phantom of the Opera. Da 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 da. 
In sleep he sang to me. In dream. Right, shit, no, stop that. Right, and finally, let's have a little look at Golden Princess. Golden Princess is beautiful, I know. Her foals are also gorgeous, so let's discover them. Ooh, that's unique looking. Yeah, because we all also could do like breeding for blue eyed horses, which will be really unique. That'd be fun though. Care for foal. Let's go see what horses we've got in the stable block that we need to free up. Oh, we've got some really good. I love him. I love him. I love him. But when the night is over. Okay, let's sell today's magic because that's all we've got to be able to sell, I'm afraid. Sorry. She's our little one with dapples as well. Cute though, really nice. Artistic animals, Abby's gorgeous. Let's visit Abby. This is my favorite stallion. So actually I'm gonna keep him for a second uh, and then we'll probably age up the other ones around us because, but I also like this one, it's very different. Uh, so let's, let's de I definitely don't wanna keep this one. I know it's terrible of me, but really nice horse, but not unique enough for today. I wonder if we're actually gonna get anything unique today. Batman, what's he doing? Exclusive, elusive. I need glasses. Elusive Galaxy. Galaxy's a great name for a horse. I used to have a horse called Galaxy years ago who was a uh, Appaloosa. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We have to sell her, I think. As gorgeous as she is. I love her. I love her. She is the best, but we need to move on. So let's age up Abby's foal because he's gorgeous. I think he's going to go black. I think he's going to be a pure black. Well, I was wrong. He's a he's a grey, which I love a grey, but we do breed lots of those. Hipster Lion is quite a cool name, but we need a new name. Can you guys give me some cool names for like a grey horse like him? I might call him... Lion. <laughs> I need help. Yes, I know. Uh, he's absolutely gorgeous. He's lovely, actually. So he's a great grandchild of Batman. Then we've got one last one in the corner, which is really gorgeous. This, this is also a great grandchild of Batman too. Very strange looking, but nice in a good way, you know? I don't normally like the blue eyes. Oh, I think they look a little bit freaky, but it's fine. Yeah, let's sell these both off, actually. That's a hard choice. Bye-bye. I'm going to sell them off. I'm going to sell this other one off. I don't really want to sell them off. I feel like we're gonna need to. Let's breed one more time with Bat just Batman. And I don't know who I'm gonna breed. We need to put Batman as stud then. Stupid. <laughs> Silly person. Um, where is he? Batman, where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Does anybody want to see a video on Bubbles? Bubbles needs a better name. <laughs> Please come up with a better name for Bubbles. I'm having a mare. I remember I used to have a little one like him as a Playmobil toy and I called him Polo. Polo is quite a cool name. I forgot about that. I also love the name Roly. Roly Poly. Great name. Right. Uh, let's breathe one more time. Take it back now, y'all. I think I always say one more time, but, you know, I could get carried away. It might be the last fall. It might not be. So who have we not bred him with yet? I've got to try and remember this. We bred with Cinnamon. We bred with Flossie. Abby, orange marmalade, but that's, is that pretty obvious that that coat pattern's going to come out? I think it might be too obvious. Fussy Foghorn and Silver Fox. Do you know what? I'm going to give Candy another go because Candy produces amazing looking foals, or can do at least. The candy man can and he mixes it with love and makes the world go around. I don't know if that's the word. So... Yeah, I think that's fun. Oh, sorry guys, just click my, that's, that's horrendous. Right, let's go and, let's go and do an easier race a second. And then we're gonna discover our last foal of the video. But I just wanted to race, where is he gone? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Where is he? He's like right at the end probably. There he is, he's capped, but hey ho. I just wanted to ride him because actually I haven't ridden him in a race really yet. I rode him once and I want to ride him again with his new outfit because he looks cool in his new outfit. And we probably need new silks to be fair. 
Cause he mixes it with love and makes the world go around. Right, here we go. You ready, guys? And they're off. Ooh. A great start for the favourite. I couldn't have done any better there. Do you know what his butt reminds me of? A jelly bean. What a great name for a horse. Jelly bean. Gosh, there's loads of them. Oh, right, it's just a straight, it's just a straight race. This one always scares me. Uh-oh, hang on. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know if to slow down and go in the green bar. I think we might, we might get enough green. I'm not sure, though. I literally love him, but his butt does look like a jelly bean. I love jelly beans. I ate them so much one year that I was sick. I was sick, though. <laughs> I have to leave them. I don't care. Nothing stops me. Now, we're not at a very hard race, so I think we're going to go about two. I'm going to go now. Well, there's a crowd. We might as well go with the crowd. Come on, Jelly Bean! Batman! Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, loads of space. Hey, we did it. Look how pretty he is. Oh, let's get a picture of him in his new outfit. Yes, let's do that. He looks sick. Cool. All right, let's go back. Moving on. I try to up to level 22, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to find out the last foal of today. Well done, Batman, who I really want to call Jelly Bean now, but I shouldn't. Batman's quite a cool name. <laughs> oh, dear. But if you have got any ideas for the channel, please let me know. And if you do give me something really cool and I use it, then you'll definitely get a shout out for it. Thank you. Right, let's go find our last foal then. Ready? Let's go, guys. Candy's never let us down. Let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Do I just keep breeding until I find something unique? Because this is going to drive me up, up the wall. <laughs> Batman has not been a very generous stallion, stallion in his coat combinations today. But either way, he is now one of my favourite stallions because he's gorgeous. But that was totally not successful. <laughs> but he got a cool outfit and we trained him up a bit. So, I mean, today's been successful, right? Uh, we need a better name for Bubbles. Please give me a better name for Bubbles. And what am I doing? What am I doing next? Should we breed Fairfax? She's one of my favourites, by the way. We are going to breed this weird coat pattern here called the Peacock Appaloosa. I'm not sure what cinnamon is supposed to be. But, yeah, let me know in the comments below what on earth, what colour she is. Uh, you remember Marshmallow Fluff and Strawberry Shortcake? Do they come back with a vengeance? And do we do more breeding of our OG mares, which are these guys? It's like a run of OG mares. Look at these guys. Ah! super duper i think that's it for captain jack today captain jack that's the wrong horse you donut oh dear help me help me lord above uh yes <laughs> help me today's not gonna go well i don't think batman that's the stallion we've just been doing a whole video on batman guys make sure you subscribe turn on your notification bell ding because if you don't you can lose us and if you've enjoyed the video then please give us eight. That's supposed to be a thumbs up, by the way, but my hoodie's kind of in the way. Yeah, that's it for today. Have a wholesome day. Bye.